How's it going everyone and welcome back to Dead Rising 3 The Untold Story. So we're going to do the final episode and so far The Untold Stories has been kind of, to put it simply, mediocre and I rarely say that word because well, that's my name so that's, that's saying something, that's definitely saying something. So yeah, we're going to do the final episode, so let's do this. Yeah, the outbreak in Los Perdidos. You think you know what happened? Watch the news, listen to the speeches, saw the videos. What you don't know is, all of it got recorded. Every hero, every coward, every goodbye. And a handful of people with one last chance for revenge, justice, duty, redemption. I know, because I watched it all. These are the untold stories of Las Perdidos. Some people got a higher calling. Help their fellow human beings. Abide by the law. Believe that rules are gonna make the world a better place. My old friend, CDC agent Brad Park, is one such man. Which is probably why he's on death's door right about now. Hello. Please, I'm the CDC. Help me. You're supposed to be saving people! What? CDC. You want to take care of the problem by killing off the infected. That's a lie. Give me a chance. I'll show you. I'm probably gonna regret this. You're free to do what you want now. Uh, thank you. All right, gotta get going. He said the ZDC was killing people. Someone is spreading lies about us. But why? Yeah, we are Brad Park. Agent Park. Agent Park. Brad, are you all right? Doctor, I'm here. Oh, I hadn't heard from you for a while. I thought maybe something happened. I know where this Ombrex is. Oh, thank God. Please bring it to the hospital. We have patients who badly need it. On my way, Cora. The ZDC will not let them down. Okay, so, um... I saw Nick gave Brad some Zombrex, uh, but of course, during my, well my gameplay of the main story of, of the main story, um, Nick never come across this character or at least in my playthrough because well, like Brad Brad Park, he is a character in in the story, but only through Smart Glass or the companion app, and since I wasn't able to continue the the Smart Glass or companion app. Uh, uh, throughout throughout the main story in my playthrough, you know, since Microsoft updated their Xbox app, I wasn't able to find it or if it was even available, so I wasn't able to show off this character in the uh, the smart the, the smart glass slash companion app uh, side stories. So yeah, so, but again, bit of a shame. I, I mean, I I, wa I wanted to show more of smart glass slash. Uh, companion app, yeah. Basically, basically, I want to show off more of the companion app, but again, Xbox, Microsoft updated their Xbox app, so I wasn't able to find out, or again, if it was even available to begin with. So yeah. So that's kind of sad, but oh well, whatever. Anyway, so let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Gotta find his van. Yeah. The 
ultimate shelt. See here. Be gone, zombies. <laughs> so OP. Oh, hello. Railgun. Okay. Oh, good. I got an app update, which I don't have, or if it's even available, if it even exists anymore. Oh, well. Alright, let's see here. There you go. To that van. Cora's waiting for me. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yeah, get off of me. Get out. Oh shit. <laughs> the physics. Alright, got the van. Beep. 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 Get up! Come on, cop car, get out of my way. Okay, let's see here. Hey, no free rides. Hmm. Okay, I go this way. Hello, Jack. Got to help. Okay, so it's been a while since we since we've seen the survivor. Yeah, at least this type of survivor. Get off me. Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't need to save these save these people because again, they they reward you with PP and well, you know, max level. So I don't really need the PP, but I might as well help since I'm, since, I'm, since I'm such a nice guy.
come again. Let's see here. So I got gotcha. you. Yeah, get out of here, Bob. Okay, back to the van. Hello, Cora. So what's up? Oh, you made it. What happened? I started to turn, Cora. My chip must be broken. I needed Zombrex. You too. I've seen that happen to some of the patients here. Look, if I could compare several of the chips, I might be able to figure it out. Can you find some and bring them back to me? I'll do my best. Where do you think I can get them? Some of my patients notice that all the mutant zombies seem to have them. You go and start looking. I'll radio if I find out any more information. There's a ZDC weapon called a pacifier, and that's exactly what it does. It should knock them out so that I can get what I need. A patient said there were some ZDC supplies being brought in on the metro track heading east above the freeway. Maybe there. I'll go check it out. Hmm, okay. So, oh, pacifier, pretty much a thing that babies suck on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's such a red versus blue joke. But anyway, yeah, but uh, yeah, pacifier, pacifier. Let's see here. Gotta be some pacifiers on that metro track. I'm sure. Let's see here. <laughs> Just, you're fine, you're fine. You can just walk it off. You can hide in the hospital. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, of course. Be gone! Yeah, you're fine. Get somewhere safe. Get off my car. Let's see here. Get off. Up there, huh? Supplies are on the upper track. Let's see. So many explosions. Okay, let's see here. Doctor, here we go. We've got the pacifiers. Oh, fantastic. You should be able to extract the chips now. Now where can I find some of the units? Look for densely populated areas. I'll need at least 20 chips to compare them properly. Yeah, boy. Ow. All right, let's go. So another glorified fetch quest, pretty much.
Hmm, let's see here. I got some. Okay. So I'm moving up. Yeah, there sure are a lot of survivors. She says she needs at least 20 of them, right? Yeah, that should be fun. Alright, moving on. So yeah, this was fun. Going around town, killing zombies to get chips for this one girl. Yeah, totally fun. Awesome. I love it. It's fan freaking tastic. Come on, people, I got shit to do. I 
Okay, one more. Back to the to the doctor. I'm taking this. Okay, I'm back. Again, textures. Disgusting. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, you got them. I'll take them inside and examine them to figure out why they malfunction. If you can get any more while you're out there, please do. They can all help us figure out what happened here. Awesome. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? Like, like more chip collecting. I mean, granted, these are side missions, but come on, man. <sighs> like, this is just excessive. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll suck it up. I'll be a man and do it. Alright, give me your chips. I said, give me your chips. Thank you. Okay. So, eight, eight more to go. It's like, what's the best way to extend the playtime? Oh, I know. Let the player go around town collecting all kinds of mater materials. You know, collecting chips, collecting whiskey, collecting med packs, that kind of shit. I mean, sure, my main series when I did the main campaign, I it, it was you know artificially longer because well, you know, when I was playing. Uh, the game with War Hero I did, you know, restart from square one, but only to a point. I mean, uh, so yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, the uh, base game on my playthrough, my playthrough of the game, the main story was artificially increased, it was artificially lengthened, but hey, at least, it, it, at least I had a reason. You know, it was only because, you know, I was playing with multiple people. Anyway. This is this is this Okay. Yeah, yeah, far bad. Alright, cough it up. Like, do I do I absolutely need to use a pacifier? I mean, I'll test it out on the next zombie. Yeah, four more to go. 
At least in this district. <laughs> Alright. So what happens when I kill these king zombies with normal weaponry? So I don't need to use a pacifier. Oh well. Oh, at least it saves me the trouble if, like, say, if I do ran out of pacifier ammo, then, well, you know, I would have to go out of my way to find more. Of course. the main mission. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, you know, the the untold stories is, again, just glorified side missions. See here. Bikers defeated. Oh boy. more to go. <laughs> and of course someone's mowing the lawn. Or that leaf lower. I don't know. Hospital. 
But hey, at least there are no collectibles, at least uh, at least that uh, I'm not aware of. Alright, bring on, boys. Okay. Talk to the good doctor. Well, there's one, so I would just stay dead. All our Zombrex was in there. What are we going to do? Don't worry, I'll find more. The ZDC had been trying to shut down a black market Zombrex operation in Ingleton. I'll go look there. Again, mission after mission, it just feels like a glorified uh, uh, fetch quest. Finding chips, finding zombrex, like, come on, people. Can I, can I please do something productive that doesn't feel like I'm just grabbing shit for people? Like, see, I feel like an errand boy. I honestly feel like an errand boy. Yeah, I feel like an errand boy. I want to feel like I'm actually accomplishing something, not just meaninglessly fetch quests. Like, Jesus Christ. this way. That dripped out. <sighs> okay. Man, this thing drifts like a motherfucker. Gotta go the long way. Yeah, of course. Jeez. All right, might as well get this over with. Happy friends. Shut up. <laughs> yes, I'm taking all my frustration on a teddy bear. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so pathetic. Okay. 
Excuse me. Okay, let's see here. Well, oh, that's a Mona Lisa. See here. Again, I do apologize if you can hear someone moaning or leaf blowing. Again, I, I can't I can't exactly tell the difference, but it's definitely someone doing something protective on the lawn. And of course, as a survivor. Shit, they're in trouble. Yeah, I'm working on.
Okay. Let's see here. more chips. That is our chip, of course. Okay. Okay, that just leaves one more area. Zombricks, Zombricks, Zombricks. Now what the hell is going on now? Yeah, what the hell is going on right now? Of course, the military. It's always gotta be the military. Go away, zombie. When you are so done with this game, Shenags, that you don't care about your own safety. Oh my god, I want the Zombrex! Need to get this back to the hospital. <sighs> okay. See here, uh, yeah, that way's blocked, so uh, yes. okay, I gotta go the long way. Awesome.
Where? Yet again, this one zombie just keeps re respawning. Lady, like lady, this one zombie keeps re respawning and you do nothing about it. Like, the zombie's not even interested in you. Like, do you have some kind of perfume that... Well, <laughs> now that I think about it in the first game, yeah, there was a pretty much a perfume that zombies don't like. <laughs> like, 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 did that become some kind of brand? Yeah, did that, did that zombie repellent uh, uh, spray can perfume thing became a brand and, and every girl's getting it it's, it's like the hot thing around <sighs> anyway yeah I, I'm, I'm getting too worked up over this thank you so much Brad any more Zombrex you can find out there pick it up we can always use more here's what I found out the timing devices on all those chips got turned off remotely I don't know how but I think I know someone who can help. His name is Nelson. He was here a few days ago, going on about how something was fishy with the chips. He said he'd be hiding out at the Sunset Dance Studio. He's a little interesting, so be careful. Okay. Talk to the hacker, okay. I mean, at least it's not a fetch quest. Damn good way to start an outbreak. Hundreds of infected people. Turn off their scheduled dosage of Sombrex from the chip. Wait until they dosage And then... But these are CDC chips. Who on earth would do such a thing? We don't know. Maybe this Nelson guy can help us figure it out. And I apologize for someone mowing the lawn or leap luring, but honestly, I don't really care. Alright, let's see here. Out of my way. Get off of me. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Let's see here. Nelson.
Look, give me a chance to prove it to you. Here, take this off, race. I'm here to help. We are back, so yeah, let's continue. Let's see here. Dude, remember, I gotta get to that chopper crash. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. Shit over there. Okay, let's go. Say get it. Well, come on, Nelson. Okay, so where are we? Uh, okay. Also, um, apparently there are collectibles. I'm not gonna bother with them. I mean, I will, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely check out, like, what it is I'm collecting. Like, it'll probably be Zombrex or something. Yeah, yeah, it's probably Zombrex. Which, if you think about it, yeah, we're, we definitely need to collect that shit because, well, the chips are down and people are infected. So, yeah, we, we definitely do need those, those Zombrex. So, I guess... Or, uh, yeah, story-wise, we definitely need the Zomprex in order to, uh, make sure that everyone doesn't turn, or at least those that are, that are infected. But again, for now, I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, this is definitely a fun, fun weapon. And it doesn't kill them, it just blows them away. Blow me away! <laughs> yeah, does it actually kill them? No. Anyway. So we need to find computer parts. Get 
Alright, let's see here. What we got? Let's see here. Okay, so what's the what's the combination for this one? An ice launcher. A freeze ray. Interesting. Okay, so we need to go over there, but, um. Yeah, you're telling me we have to go all the way around because this, this way is blocked. Right? Hold on. I mean, let's just see if that way is blocked. So again. Turbine is heavy, but come on, pick up the pace. Get off me. Damn it. Okay. Now we just need to collect the chips. I mean, I don't have to, but I, I feel like I'm obligated to do that. Man, social distancing. Yeah, of course. Okay, so survivor is right here. Okay. 
Okay, so what's the circle? Baba on top. <laughs> like the light is too bright. Okay, what am I looking for here? Yeah, whatever. Come on, Nelson. I'll be taking that. Let's see here. I mean to throw that, but whatever. Goodbye. Stop that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What the heck? I mean, is this something here? here. Yeah, whatever. Not too concerned. Anyway, how about those chips? You take that. There you go. Alright, two more to go. All the explosions. Physics! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Looks like it's on the bridge. Uh, okay.
Okay, yeah, never mind. So I coughed up. Okay. So that's all for the chip hunting. And now we can go to the triple X store. Like, what is this circle? Like, I, I don't understand. What am I missing? <laughs> Again, whatever. Yeah, you drive. Yeah, get in. What are they? Of course. They need help. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Oh my god. Hey. Hey. I'll take my chances on my own. You can hide in the hospital. Again, reuse dialogue. I mean, that's pretty much the theme of this of this DLC, just reuse assets. Um I'm not exactly sure what's happening to this one zombie. Like, is she doing some kind of flat laying down flat dance? Yeah, it's not that. Anyway. Let's see here. Ah! Get off of me! Fucking slut. Let's see here. So I need a drink. So do your thing. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get to work figuring out where that signal came from. It looks like there's some ZDC fire starters right over there. You wanna control zombies? <gasps> Now's your chance. It's gonna take me a few minutes. Why don't you make yourself useful, Mr. Agency Man? Burn all those unsightly bodies by the front door before they come and knock. Just get to work, all right? Okay. Let me pretty much explore. Okay. I mean, that's what those circles were. I might as well investigate. Again, I want to look sexy, or at least perverted. Like, that is like one of the features, that is like one of the funnest features of any Dead Rising game. You know, just wearing ridiculous outfits and I can't do that in these DLCs. Anyway, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Pretty much just burning bodies. Whatever. I mean, might as well, you know, explore, do some collecting while this guy do his, do, do his thing. I mean, it shouldn't take too long, like at least three to four minutes. Okay. Shut up. Come on, get out of there. 
see here. Probably on top. Yep, okay. Alright, good enough. Yeah, get over here. Yeah. Stop that. Yeah. Yeah, you do not want to fuck with them. Anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll just drop this. Yeah, freeze. Yeah, have an ice day. Military zombies. Anywho, let's see here. Okay, here we go. I, mean, I guess that works. Whatever. Again, it's not like I have anything else better to do at the moment. Yeah, destruction. Again, the physics! Just because I can. Just... Anyway, let's see here. Hey, man, get back to Annie's triple X. I got some news. Okay, well, it sounded like he was next to me, but yeah, whatever. Let's see here. I said I would tone down the whole czar craze, but nah. You can never stop the czar. Anyway. So what's up, hacker? I got a lock on a signal. Military frequency, man. Coming from Sunset by that big man. <sighs> Whoever's directing those spec ops, that's your guy. I got your evidence right up there, man. Okay. All right, didn't I take that away from you? I got a lock on a signal. Military frequency. Okay. 
That would block? Guess so. Okay, well. Okay. Go this way. Let's see here. Gotta get to that big mansion in Sunset. Find your response. Beep. 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 I can barely hear their conversation. I, mean, I know that's what subtitles are there for, but still. on a better vehicle. Let's see here. There you go. Alright, let's go. Back up.
Ow. Okay, let's see here. Specs for a lab? At the train yard on Hemlock's orders. What the This is signed by Marion Mallon. I thought she was in prison. This can't be good. Okay. It's a military lab. Let's go. I've gotta find out what they were up to in South Almuda. Wee! Kind of Did I hit like an place? invisible wall? Anyway. Okay. Let's see here. Taxi! Yeah, I'm away. Yeah, I think that I think the frames are dropping. Wee! <laughs> Again, the item pop-ups. Well, well, more like level geometry pop-ups, I guess. Okay. Yeah, hopefully this game does get optimized for the next console. Well, well, you know, the, the next console I already did release, you know, not too long ago. <laughs> and I'm away. Woo! Okay. Let's see here. Diego. There's no cure here. What? Prison camp at the taxi company. Hmm. Only thing this chip is good for now is so they can hunt me down like a Cut it out. Coming out. Now. Hmm. Okay. New outfit. Alright, let's see here. Ah, grenade. Explosion. Alright, so let's see here. Military base. So let's go. This place is smoky. <laughs> well, definitely not going that way. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, 
Yeah, you drive. I'm away. Oh my god. Like, do these, do these characters even wear, wear a seat buckle? Like, come on. There you go. All reliable. Sorry, Vicky. I don't. I don't got time to, to help you. I got shit to do. Mediocre. What happened to the whole? No one get. Le no one gets left behind. You know when you said how, you know, you know that whole discussion back in Dead Rising Two off the record. How you know, comment was discussing about how oh maybe we should leave some people behind because there is or oh I shouldn't leave someone behind because well I'm not an asshole. Well, t tough titties. I guess. <laughs> I mean, right now, I just want to get this DLC done and over with and never touch it again. Again, textures! Text- and, and level pop-ups. <laughs> it's gotta stop. Nick is what happened here. Let's see here. Nope. nope. Yeah, of course. Gotta, gotta take the long route.
Following orders. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Well, I guess Kane did have some connection to this guy. Yeah, at least he made an appearance in this episode. Anyway. I think I've got everything I need. Cora, I'm on my way. I pretty much head back to the hospital. So let's go. Is there any more Roblox? Yeah. So. And okay. On my way. Taxi. No, 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 shit. Okay, okay, it's good, it's good. Yeah, I found amusing how she was just out in the open with a bunch of zombies. And anyway, again. Gather up illegals. Which is, of course. Tower, huh? Illegals are using it as a safe house. 
Slowly making my way. <laughs> yeah, fuck your tower. Alright, cool. We save Rhonda and Gary and Jeremy? Jeremy? Yeah. I mean, I don't know who Jeremy is, but okay. Yeah, at least we now know that Gary and Rhonda made it out alive. Or at least so far. I mean, they definitely got help. Let's see here. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Again, just going all around town, huh? See, best route is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that way is blocked. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's blocked. Anyway, so a long way around. Probably stop using that thing. I mean, yeah, it helps, but it's just loud. Bear with me. Yeah, but I'm a tight fit. That's what she said. Hurry, we gotta go! Come in. 
Command, this is CDC agent Brad Park. Do you read me? Do you read? Come in, Command. I am alive and inside the city. Park? This is Command. You made it? I made it, and I've got survivors. We are getting these people out of here. It's the last thing I do. Holy shit! We it got spec on our tails! Gonna range for a transport. You get to the diner on the highway up north of Angleton. On my way. Camera. Hey, it's good to hear your voice, Park. Get there safe. We're in the whole stretch. Uh, almost there. Hey, wait, no, no, that, that, that's dead right there. They really don't want us getting out here. Nope. Come on, baby, we're almost there. It's so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> so, question. Okay. So, the diner is pretty much the beginning of the game. Of, of the base game. Diner was pretty much the beginning of the game, and now it's gonna be the end of the game. There's something a little poetic. Yeah, there's something a little poetic about that. There you go. <laughs> Bro, kill. Sometimes it's easier to follow the rules. Respect the procedure. Trust the results. Come on, move! Go, go, go! I'm hurrying! Come on, Superman! <laughs> But Agent Park realized that doing the right thing means asking questions. Even if the answers mean turning your back on everything you believed in. Watched it all in my little room. I could have taken the tapes with me, but maybe some stories are better left untold. Perhaps. Ah, <sighs> finally. So yeah, that was um, that was quite the episode. Okay, so the untold stories are pretty much just filler, if I'm being completely honest. Like, like episode 1 through 4, it all just feels like busy work. It feels like, you, you know, most of the missions are either you collecting something or getting some, something for someone. Yeah, I'm like most, most missions felt like, you know, fetch quests, and yeah, I, I was not a big fan of some of these episodes like they, they felt repetitive and boring and it just feels like busy work and I felt like an errand boy like I didn't feel like I was doing shit I didn't feel like I was accomplishing uh, accomplishing something I mean sure some some characters were actually you know doing something whether it you know, you know be following orders or helping your people or gain revenge or you know doing justice you know pretty much uh you know the four characters you know Redemption, justice, revenge, duty—that kind of, that kind of shtick. But, but again, most of the missions are pretty much just busy working and fetch quests, and yeah, that 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 definitely got annoying really quickly. So yeah, yeah. Um, so it it was not exactly all that necessary to play the untold stories because well, most of the characters are not really all that interesting, and they and like like they were in the main story, but they were, you know, some of them only appeared in a cutscene and they, and they and they were dead you know a la angel or you only see them you know you know one of them one of them was well, well two of them are boss fights 
uh, the biker gang uh, hunter and uh, Kane, the, that one commander at that one chapter where you save uh, Annie and Gary from that military base, and of course Brad, who, 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 who like technically he was in the main game, but only through uh, the companion app, which I wasn't able to continue. So yeah, uh, three out of the four characters were definitely in my let's play, but you know Brad was definitely not there. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> like seriously, the, 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 these episodes, they, uh, my brain, my brain is failing me right now, like, like, it was just filler, if I'm being honest, like, like, it wasn't always like this, like, there are definitely, I've, I've definitely watched videos, and there, yeah, like, like, like there's definitely, you know, evidence of the developers had other plans for the untold stories, you know, the DLC for, for Dead Rising 3, but during Dead Rising 3's development, they had to change a few things, and of course the whole deal with Microsoft making Dead Rising 3 exclu exclusive, they had to do all kinds of changes and compromises. Like, the main game, the main game was good, but the DLC definitely suffered. Yeah, these, uh, these, de these DLCs were not worth it, and... Yeah, they were they were, they were not really all that fun. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much more of Dead Racing Three, but the missions themselves are boring and repetitive and and a little annoying. Yeah, boring, repetitive, and and annoying. And I imagine if Purple was here or or War Hero was here, yeah, yeah, if Purple was here, if War Hero was here, hell, if even Okama was here, they would agree that these episodes uh, were not were not fun. And well, thankfully, you know. You know these episodes did not support co-op, so obviously they they weren't able to suffer with, suffer this adventure with me. But hey, whatever. But yeah, I, I I would imagine that if Okami did stuck stuck with stuck with me with this with this series, and if this was cooperative, I I imagine he would also agree that this was boring and 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 just filler and just side quests. So yeah, with that being said. Dead Rising 3, when it first came out, it was a good game. I had fun with Dead Rising 3, and I'm glad that I, I and I, I am glad that I was able to do this series on my channel. Um, like, like, like Dead Rising 3 was the reason why I got an Xbox One back in 2013, and now I'm well doing a Let's Play on Dead Rising 3 on pretty much the year where the next console releases, you know, the Xbox Series X, so I guess there's something a little poetic about that. A game that I played back when it first released, and I'm doing a Let's Play on it on the year where the next console comes out, so yeah, I guess there's something a little poetic about that. Uh, but yeah, um, if this game does... Well, like, I, I assume this game will also be available, you know, it will be compatible for Xbox One, but I'm... But, sorry, not Xbox One. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am hoping that this game is optimized for the Xbox Series X slash S. You know, pretty much the new Xbox. I'm. I am. I am hoping that this game does get an update and well, you know, higher frame rate, better quality. Um, you know, for, you know, 4K 60. Um, of course, I don't have a 4K TV. Um, I mean, I mean, yeah, I do, but downstairs, but I don't use it. But, but what I'm saying is that if I do. Uh, re if I do replay this game on my own time, it will be on the Xbox, to, uh, on the new Xbox. See how it performs. See if any of the, the technical technical stuff are removed or at least toned down. Because they were definitely, you know, Dead Rising Three definitely had a lot of technical issues. Um, you know, it's, you know, especially low res textures or item pop ups or levels not fully loaded. And yeah, that that, that definitely that kind of killed it for me, especially. You know when I'm just going to point A to point B, and I, and you know, like like the level just like the the level is still trying to load itself in, and I'm like, oh my god, game, load, fill in the textures, fill in the the, the level. Yeah, it, it was it, it was very annoying that the the levels just lost their detail and items and textures were popping out. Yeah, hopefully that does get fixed when this game is like fully optimized on the new, the new Xbox. I mean, I'm sure that 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 issue is living out on a PC, but of course, I'm not playing this on the PC. I'm playing this on the base Xbox One. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, everyone, uh, thank you for watching my playthrough of Dead Rising Three. Um, yeah, I guess you could say my playthrough of Dead Rising Three was definitely 
um, artificial extending, you know, you know, episode 11 through 17 were definitely filler episodes because while I, w I was replaying the game with War Hero because Okami didn't want to continue, and when episode 18, yeah, it was episode 18 where uh, I wanted to play with someone else because while well, War Hero's connection was god awful, so I brought Purple along. Um, yeah, she wasn't the most yeah, she was definitely a quiet person. Yeah, Purple is a quiet person, but hey, I guess it's better than nothing. You know, it's better than someone who doesn't want to continue the series or someone with bad internet connections. So yeah, uh, she may, she like Purple. You may be reliable, but you definitely need to work on your commentary. You definitely need to be, be a little bit more uh, talkative. I mean, yeah, I can be quiet to myself, but she she, she takes quietness to the max. You know, she is like super super quiet. But yeah, that was Dead Rising 3. I had fun with it. Definitely a good game. Um, I would say Dead Rising 3 is probably my favorite Dead Rising game out of the series so far. Um, like, I, like, I do enjoy, like, I did enjoy the last two Dead Rising games, Dead Rising 1 and 2. I mean, yeah, Dead Rising 1 was a little annoying and definitely on, on the harder side. And as much as I love Dead Rising 2, I do like Dead Rising 2. There were some things I didn't like. And, well, you know, some of those things I didn't like from Dead Rising 2 also do apply to Dead Rising 1. Like, like what I don't like about the Dead Rising games is the time limit. Like, especially in Dead Rising 1 and 2 where, um, you know, you only have 72 hours plus overtime. Um, missions are available in certain times. Yeah, at the, the, the missions can only be appeared at certain times and can only be accessible through a certain time and expired at a certain time. And yeah, like like during my playthrough of Dead Rising 1 and 2, there were definitely times where um, I, failed, I failed the game because, well, I ran out of time or the, the mission ran out of time and I was like, God damn it. Yeah, that was definitely annoying, and thankfully Dead Racing 3 did eliminate that. I mean, yeah, there is still a time system, but you have more time, um, like, like, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure in Dead Racing 1 and 2, like, every 5 real-world seconds is one in-game minute. Um, yeah, in Dead Racing 1 and 2, 5 seconds equals 1 minute in, or, f well, yeah, 5 seconds real-time equals 1 minute in-game. I think, yeah. But in Dead Racing 3, I'm uh, sure I haven't exactly tested out like how how fast the time is. Like I think it's like 30, no, 10 seconds per minute. I, like I don't know, but you def you definitely do get a lot more time in Dead Racing 3. And when a mission is available, you could do it right away, and it doesn't expire. Like I I I like I like that way. Like 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 it like Dead Racing 3. Like, Dead Racing 3 time system is definitely better in my opinion, and I've heard that uh, Dead Racing 4 has, you know, ditched the whole time, the, the whole time mechanic, which some people are upset, and well, I do, uh, I do get the whole time system, but when I do have to do Dead Racing 4, um, yeah, I, I, like, I don't really, like, when I do Dead, Dead Racing 4, I won't mind that I won't have the whole, uh, timer system, because, well, I like, to, I prefer to take my time, and not and not feel like I'm being rushed. You know, I prefer to take my time and not being rushed. Uh, and speaking of Dead Rising 4, yeah, um, I will definitely play that game. And well, when I do it, it will be a blind let's play because well, I never played Dead Rising 4. I mean, before I did the Dead Rising series, the only Dead Rising in games I played before I did the, the, my Dead Rising let's play back in 2016 was Dead Rising 2, 3, a uh, little bit of Case uh, Zero, and of course Case West. Uh, I'm sure I did play a little bit of the first game, but you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, when I do Dead Rising 4, it will be a blind let's play, though of course I have heard some negative things about it. Not necessarily story spoilers, but definitely some negative things about Dead Rising 4, but I'm sure that I'll I'll enjoy it nonetheless. Like, like Dead Rising 4 may be a dumpster fire, but it's not going to stop me from having fun with it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna end it right here. Everyone, thank you for watching my playthrough of Dead Racing 3, and I will see you guys in Dead Racing 4 later.